full MOH uh, understanding of how COVID spreads, uh, particularly from our experience in the church cluster, as well as the uh, Safra Jurong. Uh, secondary infection can happen very fast. Um, through what we know now, or what I would call the DID uh, circumstance. Duration, intensity, and density. So as long as these three factors come together, where you stay long in, with each other, there's a very close contact of many people in one place, as well as very strong interaction with one another, and long time of interaction with one another, the chance of secondary infection passing on one to another is uh, very high, which is the case for many religious activities too. From one case to many other cases, uh, in a matter of days, if not weeks, it goes very fast. The good news though, if you can circuit break it quickly, it comes down very quickly. So we take advice from uh, MOH to uh, circuit break the situation take the correct precaution and getting the support of our community leaders to extend the closure of our mosque uh, for 14 days starting from 13th of March uh, that we announced last week. There are things that we will start, we will do now uh, to adjust the uh, circumstances upon which our Muslim community have to make for. And therefore, we will be allowing the mosque to uh, do the azan calls five times a day. Although during this azan call, there is a modification to call them to prayer, uh, calling them to prayer to do their prayers at home. The same call for prayer that we they hear on the radio will also be adjusted as such, which is calling them to pray at home.